But it always, you know, it's a little bit, you know, there's a little bit that it's enough to lose the pole, but, you know, I was expecting a lot worse. I was pretty happy when, when I ran that lap. I knew it was a good lap, and when they told me the time, I'm like, ooh, that was pretty good. Kind of surprised. AJ, uh, good qualifying effort out of you. Uh, you got to feel good uh, about uh, starting up front and uh, uh, for tomorrow night's race. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, this is not one of my best tracks. We've we've had decent qualifying runs here, but uh, it just seemed like uh, in the race we're just a little bit off. So I felt excited about all day today being uh, in, in race trim. The car was pretty good. And, uh, you know, when you sit there, Juan gets to go out early and put a lap down. So then you sit there and watch everybody run their laps. You start going, man, can I run that fast? So uh, starting up front here is important, and uh, to be in the top five is, uh, is a good thing. And hopefully we just uh, have a solid day tomorrow. Questions either for Juan or AJ. If you have one, raise your hand. Anybody have a question for Juan or AJ? <laughs> Ooh, one right all right. No, we're, we're getting in. Oh, there's one over there. Yes, sir. Uh, Juan, you uh, you you had some tire smoke on that la on that high lap, and it looked like maybe you had, you had had lost it a little bit, and but it turned out to be your best lap. What was going on? Uh, nothing. I you know get, getting the most out of the car and just. Breaking a little too hard when I turn in, and that's it. You know, not not a big deal. It, it smoked the tire, but you know, it's it really didn't. It wasn't a big lockup or anything, so it doesn't really affect the lap too much. To be honest, it makes it a little tight, but as long as you keep turning, the wheel will be fine. It's only one lap, so it's not like we got to start on these tires. Other questions? Lee has one. AJ, how do you think your car is going to translate from going from day to night? Well, I mean, it's that, that's something that we've really worked hard on. That's probably the, the thing that we struggle with the most uh, in these races is, is the, the races that we practice at during the day and, and go to the night. Our race team, on the 43 side of it, feel like we've struggled a little bit. But last week, I was proud of the guys. I feel like we're actually making a lot of gains on, on just narrowing in the box of, of making the car better. And uh, you know, Today, the car was pretty solid. Everything that we did do it, we were pretty fast. So... Uh, you never really know going in the night race, but I'm pretty excited that we're at least close enough uh, in a box that we just make some small changes before tomorrow and, and we'll be okay. Other questions? It's getting the end of the year. Everybody's like, can we just get these guys off the stage and go home? <laughs> Anybody else? David Newton has one. Yeah, for both of you guys. You, you've both had some incidents on the track during the year. Do you, do you think that uh, there's? <laughs> do you think the have at it boys and, and and their payback and all that kind of stuff is going to be prevalent in the chase, or will everything settle down? Oh, how, how many guys you you kind of make mad so far? None. I'm not, I'm not in the chase. No, no, I'm not in the chase either. I don't care. The way I look at it is they gotta they gotta avoid me, right? <laughs> so yeah, thing. yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I mean it's uh, obviously, I mean it's. NASCAR, it's what everybody, you know, everybody has incidents, and it's uh, whether anybody wants to, to pay up when it's time for the chase and things like that, but, uh, you know, I think it's for us, we have nothing to lose when it comes to it. Uh, you know, I'll be honest with you, is the way AJ said there, you know, if you're coming to the end, end of a race and you have a chance of winning the race or be clever or smart or points, heck, you're going to go for the win, and more of the guys in the chase. And you're gonna take a bigger risk because the guy's got a lot more to lose than you. So I think everybody thinks that way here. I agree. And and Juan, as I often do, ask you if you wouldn't mind maybe to talk about your qualifying effort and your outlook for tomorrow night in Spanish. <laughs> no. I okay. could do that too. You want me to? Okay, go. Yeah, no. <laughs> I took three years of Spanish in high school. I slept Hola, como I, estas? Una cerveza, uh, por favor. Yeah, donde esta la biblioteca? <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's good. That's right. Where's the library? <laughs> Do you ever run there? <laughs> no, but if I wanted to, I knew how to ask. <laughs> One, <laughs> por favor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, la verdad, tengo un muy buen carro. Eh, en práctica no estaba tan contento como, eh, pues, como en clasificación, pero como la carrera va a ser una noche cambia mucho, tenemos buenas ideas para mañana y esperar a ver qué pasa. You got that? Yeah, that sounded good. Yeah, we're going to meet in the library later. Yeah. <laughs>
Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Good luck. Okay, if I can have your quick attention, Carl is on a uh, quick turnaround because he's racing in the Nationwide Series race, but our Coors Light pole winner for tomorrow night's Richmond uh, International Raceways Air Guard 400 is Carl Edwards. He drives the number 99 Kellogg's Cheez-It Ford this weekend for uh, Roush Fenway Racing. Great qualifying effort, Carl, and the way you've been racing here lately, you've got to feel good about that. Yeah, it's good. It's Frosted Flakes I had this morning worked. Um, I told Juan on the way. I didn't realize he finished. Uh, he qualified second at Watkins Glen too. So, um, you know, he put up some uh, stout numbers. That um, that lap that he ran, I didn't think there was any way that uh, we'd be close to that. And I, after the lap was over, I thought we'd ran about a, a 40 or something. So, um, pretty uh, pretty amazing job my guys did with the car. And um, you know, there were a lot of Fords up there. And I, I think that's a testament to how much uh, work the guys have been putting in at the shop. You know, uh, AJ is fast. Um, you know, Greg didn't run that well in qualifying, but his car is really fast, and I think uh, I think we have a really good shot tomorrow. So, it'd be a great pit stall, but uh, really good lap for us. Take a couple questions for Carl. Who's got one? Anybody? Hi. Hank Kurtz, Associated Press. Um, with nothing to gain or or not much to gain tomorrow night, how much is tomorrow night just a, a, a great time, fun, old time racing? Right, yeah, tomorrow's, it's like I said earlier, it's really no pressure. It's just go out and have fun and, um, you know, try not to run into Clint Boyer or one of those guys that's got a, you know, a lot on the line. And um, I, I think the key for us is just to go out and, and win a race, you know. While the pressure is off, you can go out and you can take risks and you can race harder. And, and um, you know, I, I think sometimes you can, you know, you get a chance to perform really well when that pressure is off. So, uh, so hopefully with this good pit stall and, and a good starting spot, we can maybe get uh, get a win and 10 bonus points. That'd be huge. That's just what we'd need to start the chase. That'd be cool. Other questions for Carl? Anyone? Well, Carl, we'll let you go. We know you've got a race to compete in tonight. Good luck tonight, and also good luck tomorrow night. All right. Thanks, guys.